you use kid, 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 yeah, kid, you like doing my, my, my thing and, and, and so forth. I want to talk Germany, man. I want to talk Germany. Maybe this will expand onto other areas, but let's just first deal with this before we ex extrapolate, man. Th see, this virus situation is a teachable moment of how organized different countries are. It's a teachable moment. And I think if people don't see this, I just think that you're foolish and you're not really looking properly as to just how things are really flowing because this it's, it's, is truly 100% a teachable moment as with regards to how, do, how, will, how does a country deal with a crisis which they have very little preparation for? How are they able to, on the, on the drop of a hat, boom, 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 and get organized, let's do this, and, and so forth. Now, a lot of people are shocked because you're looking at La Liga is down, Syria is down, Premier League is down. All these kinds of leagues are pretty much suspended indefinitely, but shocking news, you saw guys are out training, looking to get back into the Bundesliga, and they said that the Bundesliga may actually resume in May. Now, they say that it's going to resume in May, but all matches will take place behind closed doors until 2021. So all the matches for the rest of the year will take place behind closed, closed doors. And for some people say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. How come they can do this? And we, and we have to still be in lockdown. And, so, and I even saw like a headline say, oh, does this maybe give hope to other leagues that now we can actually get back and so forth if this is what the Bundesliga are doing? No, it doesn't. And especially for the Premier League, don't even look at Germany for some hope. Don't even look at Germany for some hope so, uh, and so forth. Because how... And I think the greatest examples is Germany and England. How Germany and England have dealt with this are completely worlds apart. Completely worlds, 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 worlds apart. Because now, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Germany as and England knew about this around the same time. So they had the same lead time to try and get their affairs in order to try and deal with this. And it is very interesting looking at how both countries have dealt with it. In Germany's point of view, they were like, mass testing, lockdown, let's get everybody tested, let's find out who is positive, who is negative. The swiftness that went with it, the level of organization and the systematic breakdown in which they dealt with this with very little preparation, because this caught everyone off of guard, has been incredible. And the very fact that they are able to get guys playing behind closed doors is by their low death rates, their low mortality rates, so sorry, well, they are low death rates and their low numbers based on their mass testing and how quickly they were able to lock down and be able to isolate those that were infected. That just shows you great organization. Not just, not just a Charles or Angela Merkel, tier one, tier one, maybe borderline chief, borderline chief. And that just shows that no, Germany know how to deal with it with the air crisis. <laughs> you know, they know how to deal with the air crisis, 100%. But if now compare us to England, England's, the way England have dealt with this has been hor horrendous. Apps. England, I cannot think of any other country who have dealt with this worse than England. And I have to feel sorry for the NHS, who have been amazing, incredible. I've experienced, you know, people, taking people to the hospital and everything. The doctors and the nurses in the NHS are outstanding, outstanding, based on a industry that is underfunded and they were cheering as they wanted to underfund the, the NHS. So what they have to do is it's absolutely incredible with the loser brick um, MPs that's, that they have to deal with. But look at England. Where is the testing? Where was the mass testing? Um, Boris wanted to go through with head immunity. He wanted to go through with head, head immunity. They didn't enforce a lockdown. They asked people to please go for a, a, a lockdown. And he says, so why is this? And it's the arrogance of those who are in power. It's the arrogance of the stupendous, thick-headed Brexit ideology. Because for England, we're like, no. Germany, it's those guys, they're European. We left Europe. We are better than Europe. We're England. We're not going to follow Europe. Even if this is a question, I'm not going to follow Europe. We're going to do it our own way, based on our level of incredible arrogance. A brand level of incredible ar arrogance, you know. And within the arrogance of, we're not going to enforce a lockdown. We're not going to quickly do mass testing. We're not going to follow the lead of other countries. We're not going to follow the lead of what's Europe where we're doing, what's Germany where we're doing. We're, gonna, we're not going to follow the lead of what's Singapore where we're doing. We're going to do it our own way because we're England. We're the British Empire. This is the, the, the Queen. You know, people, everyone speaks English. I'm speaking English. 
We don't follow people, they follow us. Lo and behold, through their arrogance, ignorant have dealt with this the worst. You know, they have dealt with this the worst. So, and in doing so, they may have completely screwed over the Premier League with regards to when the Premier League can actually re recover based on how they, they drag their feet. Because again, the key thing here is that everyone knew about this at the same time. No, <laughs> Jenny didn't know about this before England. Everybody knew about this at the same time. I believe there was like, in January, everyone knew this at the same time. But people dealt with it differently. And the speed with which people dealt with it differently, the, strat the strategies used were different, you know. And the key, and see, so Germany is a, is, a, is a very funny thing because just living in England, I was always given the perception that Germany still had Nazis and Germany was still racist, <laughs> you know, and Germany was just still this crazy wild place. And this is, you know, Germany are these crazy Nazis who are very serious and, and, and so forth and so forth. These are the guys that brought about Hitler and, and all that kind of stuff. And that's just the kind of image that sections of England want to push for, especially during England versus Germany. But then you don't go low and behold that. Again, maybe I'm wrong. I've not heard of any racist incident in stadiums in Germany. I've not heard of any incidents of racism amongst fans in the Bundesliga. I, I don't think I have. You know, I've heard of them in Italy. I've heard of them in Portugal. I've heard of them all over in Eastern, Eastern Europe. So if people ask me that, if you could live anywhere in Germany or anywhere in Eastern Europe, or where, where would I choose? I think I'd live anywhere in Germany over anywhere in Eastern Europe. I think I'd even probably live anywhere in Germany than Mutmannstein, certain parts in Italy. Because again, the, of course, there are racist parts in Germany. There are, racist, there, there are parts in England that I don't want to live in. The, where I went to school in, I ain't want to go there. I ain't want to live there where I went to school through, through in England. So, but just so funny, just perceptions of countries where... It's the certain perception that people want to put forth of Germany is that they still are Nazis. So even when you had Germany versus England, you know, they were thinking about how World, World War II songs, and I said, wait a minute, you know, Schweinsteiger, um, Klose, Goetze, all these dudes, they, weren't, they were not even a thought during the 40s or the 30s and so forth. They were not, they were not even a concept. So these guys, they don't even have a concept of what Nazism means or, 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 or anything. But you're still associated there with that, which I just think is wild. But just the, just the interesting thing, though, is just the, how different countries have responded to this, which is just crazy, and which is just, just wild, man. Um, and, and the thing, though, and the, and the key thing is you have to, because this reveals... And it, Certain things reveal things about people. You know how the saying goes about how you never truly know someone until you see how they deal with adversity. Like the saying goes, you never really know someone until, until you actually fight them. And I think this whole situation with the virus has really... Because we've never seen how countries deal with a real crisis. There's never, ever within this generation that we've been in, there's never ever been a generation that has dealt with a global crisis like, like this, where we know so little and it's so annoying. So this is the, really the first time that we've seen how nations deal with a certain crisis. And like for me, in England, who knows? Maybe if Gordon Brown was still in power or so forth, it may have been different. Maybe with a Labour, a lab no. It would have been different. So that would have been, it would have been different. Like, so this isn't just oh, an England thing. No, it is obviously, it's a mixture of the country and the government in power. Maybe if Angela Merkel wasn't in power or someone else was in power, maybe Germany would have been different. But I think it is a mixture, though, of who's in power, the government, and the culture. You know, and I just think that England's arrogance in not trying to learn from what others were doing and taking it as seriously as others has led them in a situation where they have pretty much screwed over the NHS with giving them such a backlog work of stuff to do because the leadership has been so poor. The advice has been so poor. The, the, the way they've set about putting forth the advice and support. I mean, look at Italy. You have mayors out there saying, no, if you are, you are seeing going on that, we will, we will literally beat you up. <laughs> like, we're not asking you to get locked down what we are telling you. Damn right, it's a flipping dictatorship. 
Because when we're in a time of crisis, where we have not some of like, oh, we're, we're a democracy, no, we, we must give people the rights. No, 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 screw your rights. This is about saving people's lives. You put me in power, I am, I am leading, and I'm telling you what to do right now. That's just what you lead us to. But yeah, um, is I mean, let's just see whether Bundesliga go, go, go through this. Let's just see how Germany deal with the crisis, because maybe, who knows, maybe they'll see another spike. But it is very telling. It is very telling how Germany specifically have been able to deal with this crisis as opposed to others, man. It's, 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 it's intriguing, to say the least. Become a Football Hot member and gain access to cool emojis on the live streams and get access to new YouTube content by clicking the join button here. And to view that new content, crack, head over to the YouTube channel homepage and click on the community tab over here.